my government the british government recognises that whereas the current legislation needs tough toughening up because of compromises it is basically in favour the rapporteur herself is unhappy with at least most of the amendments and is asking for a pass on the whole thing without the amendments however within that the provision of services is already um, catered for because it is it's prohibited to prevent a worker in this, con this situation from working in another state by way of posting on grounds of residence or nationality. The rapporteur's latest brief emphasises workers' rights when posted to another country, but surely that is a question of the national law of that country. If that is followed, why is there the need for extra legislation? Let the national law take care. But that brings me, unfortunately, to the dreadful business of the Laval case. Now, that's ten years ago now, but it's still relevant. Here you'll remember a Latvian firm won a contract to build an educational facility in Sweden and brought in a team of Latvian workers to do the job. By way of collected agreement, they undertook to pay those workers less than the Swedish minimum wage, which was an act of law in Sweden. The unions and the Swedish government objective. They took it to the European Court of Justice, and the European Court of Justice found in favour of the employers. When the employers and the unions in Sweden objected further and said that they might take strike action, and was that not legitimate? Was that not within the rule of law? Was that not a right? Then the ECJ came back with the answer, yes, it is a fundamental right to strike, but not as fundamental as the right of free movement. If that is the way this project is going, Mr Chairman, it is descending into an Orwellian nightmare and will come to grief quicker rather than later.